Hello everyone. In previous uh, uh, part one, we discussed about the accounting flows in uh, transfer pricing. So today's session, uh, we will discuss what are the configuration we could to set up the transfer pricing. So in, in this video, I'll be just highlighting the uh, major uh, configuration points. Uh, okay. Mm, so uh, we need to configure the versions for legal valuation and professional valuation. Uh, we need two posting variants needed, one for legal valuation and another for professional valuation. So the professional valuation cost variant uh, will be having a posting type, which will be indicated to store the result of standard cost to uh, professional valuation view. Uh, the condition record setup for transfer pricing. Standard costing run is record uh, for both uh, to both costing variants for so legal uh, valuation costing variant and post valuation variant. So the standard cost will get stored in uh, material master for both both views, legal views and post valuation view. Okay. Uh, so here I'm just showing uh, uh, screenshots. Um, so maintaining the version. Um, <clears throat> uh, here I have maintained. Uh, version 0 that will be uh, legal valuation uh, zgb for group valuation which is not mandatory here but uh, i mean then professional valuation is mandatory for uh, transfer pricing so that she is also maintained uh, this is uh, the 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 in that uh, we call that group valuation this is this screen and uh, this is the uh, on the screen Okay, so when you click on the valuation, this this button, you will see this screen. That means all the valuation views has been set up correctly. Uh, then tra transfer price setup. So here here we set up the condition records. So the transaction code is 8KEZ. Set up uh, market price at receiving end. So here we set up, uh, first, the, this is the percentage overhead. Um, yeah, so under this, uh, if you click on create button, you can create the uh, condition type for percentage of that. Uh, then this screen will be coming here. You will be mentioned condition type name. I mentioned TP02. This is markup percentage access sequence TP00, that uh, standard one. And I selected percentage overhead here and click on the condi uh, records for condition type. So here, uh, it will screen this pop-up screen will depend on material and receiver profit center. I clicked OK. Uh, now this screen will come here. You have to mention which is a controlling area and which is a uh, plant uh, from which uh, this material is being sent. Okay. And valid on date. Okay. And press execute. So here, then in the next screen, you will see um this e, e by h y is the sending plant uh, valid on the date uh, and this is the material being sent and th this is the partner profit center which is the receiving plant profit center and uh, what is the percentage so whenever the material is sending from e by h y to e by h l h l 10 percentage of the standard cost of the material will be taken as a Mark a profit to the EYHY. Where EYHL has to pay 10% of the uh, standard cost of the material to EYHY. Right. So that 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 is this condition will represent. So from valid from day valid, valid to date, and we will save this. So <clears throat> what is the next step? So next step is base condition. So in base condition, um, we have created condition called TPB2. So wh why we used base condition? This is costing basis. I given description and access sequence is TP00. Now here we select the base condition type from costing. So we will select like that only, and we will save it. Uh, if you uh, okay, uh, okay, we will save it. Then we'll come to the next point so here you can see and there is a pricing procedure also so here uh, in the pricing procedure tp0002 we created so here when we double click you can see um, we will create two line items first line item first step 010 um, cntr we have given 00 
condition type TPB2 that is base, crossing base. From zero, zero from one to will be zero because of zero zero and to be zero zero. Okay. Then in the second step, we give zero to zero, and condition type we will give TP zero to from one to will give ten. That means on top of ten. So costing basis means uh, okay. the cost of the standard cost of the product. On top of that, we are we we calculate the market price. That's what we trying to. Um, make the setup here. So TP02 will calculate transfer price on top of costing basis, standard cost of the product. That's why we this 10 will represent the first row. So the second row will calculate the markup price. So because TP02 will calculate the markup price. So that is the setup here. Then one more setup, our last setup, transfer, transfer price variant has to be set up. Right? So transfer price variant uh, here, on the last uh, on the screen, the last one. So here we click on the create button and we create PC0. So in PC0, we'll uh, we give the number and we will give the procedure TP002 transfer point. Here we'll give you zero and just save it. That's all. Okay. So these are the condition type uh, records uh, which we will go to set up for market price. Here, following screens, I'll just point out a few uh, uh, configuration required uh, to to this uh, transfer pricing work. So um, uh, Mr. Everybody knows. Uh, so this we will do the quantity uh, updating and the value updating for the plans which is uh, using the transfer pricing zero uh, k e k. Uh, this is this uh, configuration is required uh, to set up uh, the internal revenue stock change uh, that account um, system to identify which GL accounts to capture the uh, markup price uh, or markup expenses to be captured. So th this is the screen uh, where we set up those accounts corresponding to which material type we need to set up this, which material type is being for, used for transfer price. Uh, corresponding to controlling uh, controlling area, we will set with all these uh, GL accounts. Okay. Um, so here you can see internal revenue. That is a uh, uh, revenue received to the receiving uh, cost center. Change in stock means uh, what is the change in stock account? Delivery from profit center. That is a uh, 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 while receiving the material in the receiving plant, uh, what is the cost uh, being captured uh, in this delivery from profit center, change in stock also, uh, changing, changing stock in the receiving plant, right? So uh, we saw that uh, in previous video, you have not seen this, watch this, but I've mentioned all these accounts, how it is uh, accounting entry has been generated by doing a stock transfer, right? Mm -hmm. Define account determination for cross plan production. Uh, here, mm, uh, yeah, here. Uh, so this is just production variant. So we just set up this uh, GL account. Uh, yeah. uh, define valuation approach for clearing account eight k v n. Here, here. So here mm, we set up. Uh, the, the zero balance clearing account. This is very important uh, because uh, when we uh, when we do stock transfer, this the accounts also will get posted. So you can see in the previous video where uh, you can see this GL accounts has hit it. So that when you take the reporting in legal view, your uh, uh, markup price will not get reflected there. Uh, so th 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 by hitting this uh, percentage uh, zero balance clearing accounts, uh, system achieve this uh, that functionality. Eight uh, <clears throat> K P transfer price. Uh, uh, okay, Act activate transfer price. So that is the eight K P transaction code. Here we activate transfer pricing. So you can see this group valuation currency. All this all this setup is record. You can you need to do the currency setup uh, here. Uh, that. That is part of uh, you know um, all your configuration. That's why I'm not showing the co complete currency setup here. But uh, here I have set up a legal valuation, group valuation, and proof center valuation. Both group valuation and proof center valuation are given uh, group currency thirty. Uh, <clears throat> For the cost planning, uh, so here uh, I just uh, here taken the 
screenshot of the cost invariant. So here I have, I have selected in quantity structure cost of cost beyond profitability boundaries. I selected that is super. Uh, in the same way, you can see. Uh, okay. Uh, another uh, transaction code is uh, define uh, costing version T code OK by D. Uh, here we need to mention uh, costing version 1, costing type ZP, uh, for central valuation costing type. I mentioned about this because our, uh, while doing costing run, uh, this for central valuation uh, costing variant will having this costing type ZP, which indicate that result of costing uh, standard cost uh, result will uh, standard cost will uh, stored in uh, for central valuation. Uh, standard cost, progression valuation view cost, uh, standard cost. Okay, uh, valuation variant is ZY1 and variant. Uh, so this this field where we will store PC0. With this PC0, you can remember in the condition type uh, when we set up the condition type for uh, progression valuation. This PC0 we have used. Okay. Um, Cost component structure. So here also there is a small uh, one uh, cost component we have to create. Uh, so that cost component should have uh, this profit center ticked in the delta profit for costing. Here you can see fixed and variable have um, uh, selected, cost roll up selected, uh, cost of goods sold, cost of goods manufactured, inventory valuation not good uh, not relevant commercial not relevant tax not relevant transfer price surcharge here i selected price and variable cost and this profit center delta profit group costing as a little profit center so one costing uh, co one cost component have to be created for this transfer pricing which is this one okay mm, then uh, activate cost component split in controlling area okay by w uh, here I have selected uh, for company code. Uh, I have selected uh, costing type CP. This is profit center valuation uh, costing type and valuation meaning C by Yeah. Uh, special procurement and profit center mentioned in there. So <clears throat> in this case, uh, when we set up the transfer price between two plans, we have to make sure that a special procurement key has to be mentioned in the receiving cost center. So whatever the cost uh, costing run we do for uh, source plan, the, the the cost has to be copied to receiving plant, right? So that, that for that purpose we do special procurement key. So this is the receiving plan I have select I given the forty special costing. So to, the standard cost will get copied to receiving plant as well, right? So here you can see based on the condition type I set up, I mentioned 25 percentage markup price. So uh, standard cost is four, that one markup price is one. So total five rupees will be calculated in that five, right? So that will that five will store in uh, central variation view, costing view. Here you can see this is this is uh, <coughs> currencies group currency, but this is Valuation view profit. You can see PRCTR. This is legal. This is group. Legal is for uh, profit center uh, valuation is five because four plus one, right? Five. So uh, as a result of costing, then it will store like this because of the costing type uh, indicates uh, uh, profit center valuation. Uh, this field uh, when we run costing run with the uh, costing variant of uh, profit center valuation. This will get uh, this five will get updated here, right? Mm. So this is uh, the uh, after transfer pricing. I have uh, this accounting entry has got generated. So this has already been explained in my previous video along with Excel file. If you have not watched, please watch that. Uh, hope you have uh, understood uh, the configuration part. Uh, if you have any questions, you please comment under the uh, my uh, YouTube. Uh, video um if you like this uh, please like this video and subscribe this uh, for upcoming interesting videos uh, thank you so much bye